it's Tuesday I think I'm not sure <laughs> but I think it's Tuesday Martin is practicing the red hot chili peppers again in the lab Don't tell him I said that. He knows. It's fine. Um, he's practicing it on his guitar, which is fine. Like, whatever. I just turned my computer on because I just finished work. It is, well, I finished work about 20 minutes ago. It's uh, 5.47. Got dinner in the oven. It is desperately sad dinner tonight because we have no food in the fridge or the cupboard. We have um, a jar of mayonnaise, uh, vegan mayonnaise, and one apple, and... Um, a button a squash in the fridge <laughs> and then the top shelf is just lined with like half jars of like pickles and chutneys and stuff do you ever get that like you just fill up your fridge entirely with like jars of curry sauce that you're like mm, better use this before it goes out of date because i've already used half of it on this thai green curry gotta have another thai green curry next week and then you forget and then it goes more green than it should if you know what i mean I forgot what I was saying. Here comes Martin. Hi Martin! Yes, yeah, so while dinner's cooking, we're having breakfast for dinner tonight. Beans on toast with potato waffles. Mm mm mm. Breakfast for dinner. I forgot what I was saying. I'm gonna quickly try and do some stickers because I did my goat sticker, freebie sticker for Etsy Shop opening, Etsy Shop update, whatever it's called, that's coming out on Monday. And I did that lunchtime. It was super easy. Literally just copied the illustration into Procreate and now I'm gonna. Gonna print it and cut it while the waffles are cooking, I hope. So let's get to it. Alright, I'm about to get the paper out. I'm just going to show you the plants. I can't, I don't know if I've shown you these, but basically we did them at the weekend. And I'm keeping them all together here by the window. Um, they can't have direct sunlight and goats over here. Uh, but I was reading online and also watching videos that they like to be together and it helps with the humidity. That is the international sign for humidity, right? So, and then we have um, these guys down here, which we're trying to propagate. But the only problem is they are in the way of my paper cupboard. Which is currently filled up with uh, a lot of ink. This is what I'm excited about because I haven't tried the evergreen... Yeah, just checking it was white on the back. <laughs> I haven't tried the evergreen photo... Pa wait. Oh, okay, self-adhesive sticky. Oh, I thought I didn't buy stickers and I thought I just brought photo paper. Okay, I haven't tried the... I mean, I don't know if this is the right one. You know, it's like the, the, the sticker paper, not, not, not the... This is white paper and this is fine for like... I can't even... Oh, this is for my logos. My logos. And my dress, my dress labels, and then this one I'm going to try for my freebie stickers. So it's a higher up quality than what I was using, but a lower quality than the ones that I sell. So hopefully a good medium. You're right there, printer. Feed me. Jeez, hungry boy. Look, guys. Can we just have a discussion about the design of these packages? like a sticky here so when you try and get paper out it just sticks to it I've ruined so many sheets of paper doing that this is a paper a bit flimsy um, a lot flimsier than my PPD sticker paper which is what I use for my stickers but it's also a hell of a lot cheaper and these are just freebie stickers right you hungry it's almost ready. Huh? It's almost ready. Okay, I finished. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Do you think they're too grey? Mm, no, I think there's just a lighting in here. Quite grey. They're kind of like green grey. See? Yeah, bluish. Okay, we've lost two goats. Gertie. Were you hungry, girl? Um, <laughs> I don't know where the other one is. Um, okay, well, I have to look for the other goat later. This sticker paper is a lot thinner than the other ones, so I probably should tweak the settings. And also, this sticker paper is, is losing its stick. So, you know what, Grady? 
It's not your fault, buddy. It's not your fault. I wish that I had one of my old sticker sheets so we could have done a comparison of the um, sticker paper one, but I don't have any. They, they gone. Um, yeah, this one is, it says, you don't know if you can see this. Um, it's like torn the side. I think that's just, I mean, the other goat could have gotten stuck on the blade and messed it up. It's fine. It's fine. This is, um, I think this has gone well considering that it could have had a goat jam. Could have literally had a paper jam of goats in Gertie. Wow. That is an image, isn't it? I made these tiny little ones because I didn't have enough. Um, I had a little bit of room on the paper. I'll just stick these on like envelopes, I guess, or something. This is what they look like, guys. What do you think? I might do another test, change this background colour. You can see it's like this kind of greenish grey. I wanted it to be more, like I didn't want it to be completely white, but I might change it back to like an almost a white, like a kind of like a really pale cream because I'm not sure if I like this colour. But yeah, these are my freebie stickers. I think they're pretty nice. Good size. This um, quality is quite nice actually. Quite impressed with the quality. It's a lot better than the other paper. Let me tell you. Found it, found it. It was out the other end. Gertie spat it out her butt. It's all right, Gertie, get to sleep. Shh, 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 get to sleep, get to sleep. I think dinner is almost ready, so I better go eat that. Martin's just finishing off the beans. And uh, yeah, so I, I go to be going. See you later. Hi, it's Saturday morning and I'm in the office and I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to do this weekend for my Etsy update. Um, I have to take photos, do the lessons, do back and cards, make the actual sticker packs and do a big restock. So basically I went on Etsy, no I didn't, I went into all my drawers and my folders and everything, counted up everything I have and I put them onto my spreadsheet which I've only been using for a couple of months and when I say I've been using it I used it once for one day and then forgot about it <laughs> so I'm using it again I'll show you what it looks like so this is it here um I'll see if I can scroll so basically I have categories here like single stickers um sticker packs sticker sheets prints notebooks all that good stuff so right now I'm on sticker sheets and you can see here it says retro stickers at the top and if you go along, the column that says one is how many I have. I literally have one sheet. And the column that says three is how many pages I'm going to print out. So on the next screen, I have my silhouette. And I'm going to print out three of these and make my way down the list. So that will be kind of like things I'm doing in between. I'm just running in and out of the office all morning until it's done. I have made sure I have enough paper. I ordered some more glossy paper for my sticker packs. I have enough ink. So we should be good to go on this restock. And then while I'm doing the restock, um, we're actually we're going for a walk in about an hour because it's gonna rain all afternoon. So we're gonna go for a walk at lunchtime while it's not raining. So I only have an hour, I might just, I might do, I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> for an hour, I don't know. But this afternoon I know I want to do my photos of um, my listings, like I need to do my photos for my listings. Martin did say he was gonna do it for me, but I feel really bad asking him because he's got a lot of work on today. So I might ask him just to kind of like set it up for me because he's good with the lighting and everything. And then I can just take the photos because we have to set up some artificial lights because it's gray. It's gray and rainy, it's England. Um, the only problem is I only have one light. So sometimes it casts, some sh sometimes it's worse to use the light than not because I don't have big studio lights. I only have that, um, it's like a panel light. I'll show you guys when I set it up. You, you might have seen it before. But yeah, I'm going to go now, get going on these printy things and I'll pop back later for some more Etsy update malarkey. So I'm about 10 minutes into my big uh, restock. I have printed these two lovely retro sticker sheets and went to print the next and it's already I have stuff printing I have stuff printing I have stuff cutting so I cut those sheets printed the next two and when I checked on them this had happened yay so the silhouette completely cut them wrong one second Rubik's cube 
I did all the, I thought it was just a registration problem, so I did it again and it happened again. I did, I was watching it though, so I managed to save like half a sheet. I tried a whole bunch of stuff to fix it, so I turned it off and on again, <laughs> turned the computer off and on again, shut everything down, unplugged everything, waited, plugged it all back in, that didn't do anything. Tried to calibrate and then the calibration wouldn't work, so I wouldn't cut the paper, it just kind of went mm -mm, and then stopped. So that didn't work. So then I uninstalled the entire silhouette, downloaded the new one, which I think, I don't know if it's new, but it was like a 0.6 instead of 0 0.0. So I downloaded that one, installed it, and it didn't cut again, and it didn't calibrate again. So I've done everything I can think of doing. Um, and I decided to not just take a break, walk away from it. This is what I normally do when stuff doesn't work. Martin is the complete opposite of me. He would be there for like five hours trying to fix it, but I'm more of the kind of, let's just see if it sorts itself out, and then we'll come back to it later. Because the silhouette and the cricket before it, sometimes they just fix themselves. They're so annoying, both of them. Gertie, she's been fine, but when, like, this is just annoying, you know? Waits until I need to literally cut and print and print and cut a thousand different things and then doesn't work. So I'm not happy about it. Um, so we're gonna go for a walk now. It looks like it's literally about to rain, so it's not gonna rain until 12, but I think it's gonna I think we're gonna get rained on. I don't mind, I don't mind the rain. And then when we come back after lunch, I'll probably just turn the computer on, give it another go. And if it doesn't work, I don't know. I might just move into taking photos and worry about it later. Like, if we... I can't actually open the shop if I don't have any stock. So, I need to get some by Monday. I'm not sure how, but hopefully this is the way it works later. It's just annoying, you know? So I stopped printing stuff. I could have kept printing sheets and then cut them later. But I was just worried. I didn't want to, like, print so much if it wasn't working. So I just left it for now. But, yeah. I'll give you an update later. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's fine. So it's about an hour later, we got back from our walk. We didn't get rained on, but it is raining now, so we missed it. And the silhouette miraculously worked again. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, I just turned it on and it didn't even calibrate it, just like did the test print and it worked. So it's printing now, uh, it's cutting. I mean, it's cutting now and my printer's printing beside me and I am cooking minestrone soup for lunch, so. Just thought I'd ch I was getting a bit stressed out sometimes when these things don't work. Like I am fine until stuff stops working, especially when I'm busy and I'm just like, I can't handle it. Because the thing is, if it was like an error that you could research and look up and figure out how to fix it, it'd be fine. But with like the silhouette, one sheet is perfect, the next sheet isn't, and you haven't changed anything. So it just is it's frustrating, but it's working now. So. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to do this for the next couple of hours. Not really much to show you apart from things printing and things cutting, and you've seen that before. Things printing. Things cutting. Watching The Office in the microwave, as usual. I've got to add the pasta in a second. It's all foamy on the top. Why is it foamy? What you talking about, Wallace? Oops, steamy. It's looking pretty good. All that weird froth went away. <laughs> it's after lunch now. I am still doing printing and cutting. Can't really do much else because the cutting takes like, let's say a minute to two minutes for each sheet, right? Maybe like three minutes, I'm not sure, I don't time it. But by the time it's finished, you have to go and take, you know, take it off, put a new sheet on. So you can't really do much. So I was doing a lot when I was cooking lunch, which was fine, so I could walk backwards and forwards. So I thought, what's something I can do that I can walk backwards and forwards and like keep an eye on the stickers? And then I realized, hey, I gotta take photos for my listings. So I got everything set up. And when I say everything set up, I mean I walked into the bedroom. That was it, because my desk is clean right now. A miracle upon miracles is clean because everything is on the bed. So I was going to do the photos and then I realised <laughs> I can't do the photos because I haven't printed out the stickers yet. And I haven't made the sticker packs up yet. And this made me <sighs> so happy. I can put it off until tomorrow. I love procrastinating so much. And I mean, guys, taking photos is the worst. So. I'm not gonna do the stickers now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really want to do some art. 
I'm also waiting for my lunch to go down probably in like another hour and a half I'll do some Beat Saber and then I'll have a shower and everything because I haven't had a shower yet today I just got out of bed just got out of bed still in my pajamas in the bottom half um technically I wear this in bed sometimes too you guys don't need to know that too personal too personal I just did a pop in and let you guys know how happy I am that I don't have to do photos yay and the mini stroni soup was really good mini stroni the mini stroni soup was really good it wasn't mini at all it was quite maxi I'm gonna stop now bye it's now about 5 p.m. and this is what I've done this is what me and Gertie have done together so all of these sticker sheets that's a lot of sticker sheets and there's some paper there we can fix that later um, I still have these to do these are the sticker packs and individual stickers from the meow pals and then I still got to do a whole bunch of stuff so on my list it's all green but there's a couple of bits at the bottom I've got my exercise top on I'm gonna go do some beat saber for an hour and get all sweaty and because I've been sitting down for pretty much most of the day since I walk and I'm feeling just like moving around make dinner and then tonight I think I just want to do some art um, I might try and finish these stickers while I'm making dinner, but I think tonight I just want to get in my sketchbook and we'll go back to Etsy again tomorrow morning fresh. So, yeah. What state am I? I'm so, I was so sweaty. I just cooled down though for like 10 minutes. Um, I finished. I did like an hour. I, we, I got the new, I got a new owl green day and it was a bit slow to be honest. So I did all of that and then I did Imagine Dragons, which I really like. Some of their songs are really fast to do. And then some of the like Beat Saber originals, if anyone plays Beat Saber, you know, like the original soundtracks that they have. So yeah, I did an hour of that. Feeling pretty good now. Happy that I moved and everything. It's a shame because it's like really nice out now. Look, you can't see that, can you? <laughs> Just trust me, it's really nice out. We should have gone for a walk now, but oh well. I can't see. You gotta put it down here so I can see. It's not going on. That's what she said. I thought this is the same one you had. Yeah, it's just was a bit tight. That's what she's... <sighs> so, you just lightly burn this off. Because apparently they're quite oily from the manufacturer. So doing this burns off the oils. And then it's good to go with the ink. And then hopefully the ink should flow better on it, yeah. Cool. It is quite late, it's like 9.30. But I just really wanted to have a go with this before I went to bed. Um, It's called pen holder it's called pen holder it's a general's cork nib pen nib thingy oh, look how dusty these are <laughs> haven't used them for so long okay i'm gonna use the fw acrylic artist ink i don't even know, know if you can use uh, um, acrylic ink with this the ecoline is like basically liquid watercolor and then winsor newton ink i just grabbed them randomly Martin actually, these are all of his nibs, his old nibs, because he used to do calligraphy. And he used to have this exact same one, but when I was trying to look for it, I think we must have thrown it away by accident. So I got another one, I've been waiting ages for it to come. Let's try the blue ink first. I don't know this is going to work, because this isn't proper ink. Like, it is proper ink, but it's not proper ink, you know? I don't think I'm going to like this because of the scratchy sound. I don't even think this is the right nib for what I'm trying to do. I think this is like a calligraphy nib. I don't know if I need like a dip pen nib. Right, Windsor Newton. That's a bit nicer. It's a bit thicker. Ooh, the scratchy sound is very disturbing. That's quite nice. It does seem to last a long time too. I was going to write my name, but my handwriting is really bad. Like I wouldn't ever be able to do calligraphy. I'll show you. I'll just we'll just do it, shall we? I don't even understand how calligraphy you do it, but we'll just try. <laughs> so bad. Is this calligraphy, or is this just writing my name? It's just right in my name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the scratchy sound. What are you gonna write? 
Your name? Maybe. Coming by the DVR, it's going kind of like that. No, I can't remember it. Think. Ugh. Ugh. Don't like that. Don't like that sound. I think I'd prefer it if I just had a stick. Just use a stick <laughs> to do it. You know, you see people like they people they they dunk stick twigs and stuff into ink and draw with it. No, we just is scratchy. No, it won't be a scratchy. That's a nice eh? It is Sunday morning and I'm back in the office. Just cut out these lovely chickeny stickers. And I'm reading an article about The Sims because I just, <laughs> I just really want to play The Sims again. I'm not going to do it. Too much work to do. And what I've been doing, okay, so present April, that's me. And at past April, that was me yesterday. Thought it was a great idea just to pop all the stickers in here. And I'll just sort them out later. <laughs> I've got a feeling future April, about midday today, is I'm not going to be happy with this idea. So I have these three left whoop whoop and then we finished cutting for now although i do remember that i do have to do i have to do more logo stickers and more my address labels but yeah it's a bit of a mess in here right now to be honest i mean not gonna lie but when when is it not a mess you know i go away to make breakfast i come back this is why we can't leave the silhouette alone got the cellar tape on there so hopefully this is gonna be okay but this um to be fair like I have cut so many sheets this weekend so this is not as sticky as it was I just turned it off because I was just watching to make sure nothing was wrong and this blade can you see it's at one and it should be at seven so hope I haven't damaged anything it's still working. Ow. Eleven forty. It's a very grey, miserable Sunday. I just have cut all of these, and now I have the very fun task of going through and making the sticker packs. I think there's going to be at least four. I'm going to make most of them, and then leave one out for taking photos later. Which, if the light continues to be like this, should be fun. Should be fun. about four the office episodes later and I finally got everything done so we got all of the packs done I've left some out to take photos of so we got the piggies pack jumping goats chickens horses bunnies with extra carrots if you get hungry we got the rainbow bunnies chickens and turkeys sheeps and goats ducks and geese and animal sanctuary and then also this is just like a restock of some stickers. Oh, guys, this has been the most time I think I've ever spent restocking or doing stuff for the shop, like in a weekend. Normally I just do it for a day when I do it, but this has been going from yesterday, 10.30 a.m. to about 7 p.m. And then this morning, about 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. <sighs> I was meant to do so much art this weekend. I was gonna, uh, I I shouldn't plan to do fun art stuff when I know I have so much work to do. So I still have a lot of stuff to do. Martin's gone to visit his parents. So I really should have been putting Disney songs on and singing. I might do that now actually, because I've just been watching The Office. Um, but yeah, when Martin's gone, normally I just like put the tunes on. <laughs> put the tunes on. I was gonna go into town and get sushi for lunch, but I, I can't bother. <laughs> I'm 
too I'm too tired. I'm too tired. So instead I'm gonna have a I think I might have a break or should I keep going? I got the photos next guys. I should just get it out of the way, shouldn't I? <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, uh this is a setup. I put my light there just so I could have a bit of light coming down because otherwise this window still here casts a shadow. Um, this is the light I was talking about, it's like a panel light, I have shown it before, it goes, um, to yellow, and also to daylight, and then also it dims, so I can find it, so, just take some of the harsh shadows away, now, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm keeping it pretty simple, to be honest, um, I'm trying, going to try and use a plan if it, I don't know, it probably doesn't even, it's not even going to be in the shot. And then I've got these, like, thingy more bobs. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, guys. I've got, like, washi. Washi tapes. <laughs> I hate taking product photos so much. Ugh. Ugh, can someone just do it for me? God. All right, let's do this. We got this. This is Martin's new toy. I don't know what it is. It's a keyboard and it makes music go onto the computer. Is that right? Something like that. What are you playing? Green sleeves? Just making it up. Oh, I can only play green sleeves <laughs> on the piano. <laughs> it is 7.30 in the PM and I just finished editing the vlog. thought I would get to it and do some editing after dinner. So I just had a little bit of last night and today to do. And I realised I, I didn't come back after I did my photos. Probably because I was so tired. Um, I've just been in a little bit. Honestly, guys. I look like a ghost. Mm. That's my ghost sound. Um, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm losing the plot a little bit. I haven't worked this hard since my last update. I took the photos. And I haven't edited them yet. That's my next task. So fun. And then at 3 o'clock I actually had like a little chat, an art chat with a couple of our friends and I took that time to do my thank you card. So that took about two Zoom calls, which is 80 minutes, yeah, because um, on we're on the free Zoom, on that free Zoom. Uh, 80 minutes and I did this thank you card and then I popped it into Photoshop and I basically used my last thank you card, the back of it, just, just changed the colours and it's really simple, I'll show you now. So, sorry for the shadow, but these are the thank you cards, they're a little bit smaller, they're half the size of my other ones that I had for Easter, but um, I just, I go through in comparison, just to compare, these are my Easter ones, and I do love them. I am debating whether to make these that size, but it's just, because I can't use that printer over there anymore, which is what I was doing them on, because it just doesn't work anymore. Um, I have to use my, my good printer and the ink's really expensive. So I'm thinking either of trying to outsource something. Maybe next time when I do my next update I'll outsource the thank you cards. So it's just a little wee diddy one. It's got a cow. Well, it's got a cow. It's got a duck. A chicken. Two rabbits and a pig. Oh, two chickens. And then on the back it just says... Oh, <laughs> that was upside down. Uh, this They're not upside down, I promise. On the back it says, thank you. And then it's got uh, my name there, and it says, don't forget to tag me. Marketing, people. That's how you, you, you market. Gertie's like, shut up, April. You don't know how to market yourself. It's true, I'm really bad at marketing myself. Oh well, maybe one day, maybe 2022, that can be my goal. So, that is an update. Basically, I just made these thank you cards, printed them out, cut them. Then we had dinner and watched an episode of, uh, what are we watching right now? watching space tv show martin and i call it empty nothingness we tend to call tv shows not by their real names it started a few tv shows ago i think we started we start we're watching for all mankind and we didn't know what to call it so we just called it space because <laughs> for all mankind is like a really long word and then we watched salvation which is about an asteroid coming towards earth so we called it rock <laughs> and now we're watching um Ah, oh, what is it called? Martin, what's the TV show we're watching? The Expanse. The Expanse. And even though it's not... <laughs> the, the name that we... 
I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm cracking up. The name that we call it is actually longer than its real name. We call it Empty Nothingness. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is so funny to me. Everything's funny to me right now. Anyway, I have to edit like 1,007 photos. So I'm going to do that now. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, and then I think I'm going to stop for the night. And tomorrow morning I'll get up before work and do my listings. Whew, it has been a long weekend, guys. Let me tell you. If we get through this week, this weekend, and next week, next weekend, it's going to be art fantastic all right that's my promise to myself and to you guys it is monday morning it's about 7 30 i just got up a bit late today because i was up till like half 11 last night um half 11 12 which is all the way past my bedtime so a little bit late today and i just have three orders i was meant to pack them yesterday and take them to the post box that's normally what i do on a sunday night pack my orders that i have at the weekend take them to the post box they go out monday but i was just so busy yesterday i couldn't so i thought i'd do it today and uh yeah it's worked out pretty well because these are the last three thank you cards i have from my last um like design and then we've got three orders so they perfectly go together so basically my plan is to pack these guys up it won't take long another couple of minutes and then go for a walk it's not that nice out but apparently it's gonna rain from lunchtime to the end of the day so yeah go for a walk now while it's dry so I'm just about to go to the post box I'm gonna go around a couple of blocks like big blocks to get about maybe 20 minutes walking um, I just want to show you these before I go these are retro stickers because <laughs> you've probably never you've probably never seen these before no um these are probably pretty probably probably on every vlog because they're one of my most popular sticker sheets but martin bought these back from his parents house yesterday his mum had ordered a whole bunch of stickers from me sticker sheets for me about three months ago and martin brought these back because they're not cut properly I don't know if you can see, so they have the cut line on them, but it's very faint, and they can't be peeled away, like they're not cut enough to be peeled away. So when Martin bought these back, I started a little bit, because I have no idea how many have gone out like this, and I don't think any have, or many have, um, because I haven't had any messages about it at all. And I would have had by now because it's been like three months. You know yesterday when I was showing you how the... When I was like checking to make sure nothing went wrong. And the blade hadn't cut to the right depth. This is what I think happened. And it just slipped through. I just didn't notice it. Because normally I check my sticker sheets. But it must have been when I was doing like a big restock. So I've had a little panic. I went through all of the sticker sheets I printed yesterday to make sure they're okay. And when I've been doing my orders I've been checking them now. But I am feel so bad because... I print two per page, so obviously someone out there has bought a sticker sheet that doesn't that doesn't work. So um, I was gonna like have a look on Etsy to see when Lynn, which is Martin's mum, bought them, and then like see who else bought retro stickers at that point. But there was no point because I sell uh, like it's my most popular one, so I have no idea who got them. So I don't know if it's anyone who watches my vlogs or anything. Or if it was someone from Etsy, because I do get quite a lot of sales just through Etsy itself. But if you have a sticker sheet, a retro sticker sheet, this twin, that doesn't work, let me know. Because I can send you another one and I feel so bad about it. So I'm definitely going to have to double check or check <laughs> in the future. Um, because it's not good. I mean, if I got something like that in the mail from someone, then I was expecting a nice sticker sheet and it was just... A printed piece of paper I wouldn't be happy about it so I just wanted to let you guys know that that I'm not perfect um, make mistakes just like everyone else I'm gonna have to just keep an eye on that in the future and yeah hope that whoever got it isn't mad at me too mad at me so I'm gonna go for a walk and I'll uh, see you later we're gonna do the listings later I've got to get to work in like an hour though so I'll probably have to do this at lunchtime and then pop them up uh etsy get ready for the update later but I, this vlog has to go out before then so actually should i just say goodbye now while i've got the camera going yeah i'll say goodbye now so late basically the only thing i'm gonna do today vlog worthy and it's not even it's like writing listings for etsy so it's not exciting at all 
uh, is do that. And then, then on next week's vlog, you can pop back and see how the shop update went. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I have been making these stickers for a while, for like two months, and I did them most of them on Twitch. So maybe I'll get some more. Maybe I'll get some orders. Hopefully, I get a few orders. That would be nice. And yeah, pop back next week. But until then, I will say goodbye. Hope you guys have a lovely week, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.